I received another question from a viewer about exporting DXFs. They've got a face that does not line up with any of the principal planes and are asking how do I get a view straight on to export a DXF from based on the method that we did in the last video. And uh, to answer that question, I think we have to talk about views in general. So what I'll do first is say I want to make a view that I can look straight on this face from. And in order to do that, I can do it from a right click and say, orient this view to a plane. And so obviously, since I was highlighting this plane, it gets populated here that this is the plane I want to be normal to. And I have to tell a Libre what the bottom of my part is. So I'll do that. We're gonna say, okay. Now you can see we're looking straight onto our part. Well, if I go to the view tab and I go into this menu, we have all the views here and I'm gonna say add and say custom. And when I do that, no, I can uh, manipulate my part, but if I set my custom view, we can always return and look normal to this face. So this menu uh, is just a simple extension of these buttons that I can set views with, but then I also am able to create custom views, which is really the handy part. So now that I have a custom view, Let's save this part. Let's go to send to and make a drawing of this design. Again, I suggest a one-to-one -one scale here. Let's go to a blank sheet and I'll check create an empty drawing. Uh, that's probably the easiest format for a DXF export. Now when we get to our drawing, uh, we'll go to sheets and views and insert a standard view. And you'll notice, right, I can't get normal to a 61 degree face that I created here because you know, this goes by 90 degrees. So we go to our workspace orientation and use our custom view and set that. And now you can see that we are orienting directly straight onto this face. So I'm gonna say okay on that. And remember, do a one-to-one -one scale if you would like to export DXS so you don't get any uh, dimensional inconsistencies. And of course I can delete my right view and delete my front view and there's my DXF export. Now you might say, well, okay, but since I'm looking at a part weird, I've got this ex these extra lines here and I only want the face. And that's a fair request. So in that case, let's get back into our standard views creation. Let's go to our custom orientation again and set that. And then I'm gonna delete my top and front views from being imported and we're only gonna do a right view. So that's our right view, and this is the face that we want to export, of course, and only that face. And there's a few things that I can do. First thing I can do is, actually, yeah, let's go to Sheets and Views. I can do a Removed Section. And when I select Remove Section, it gives me the option to make a sketch. And so I can simply make this line vertical, and I can make it coincident onto this origin point right there. I can deactivate, and now when I go to Sheets and Views and I tell it to do a Remove Section, the Remove Section uh, only gives me what is around the face. What is The Remove Section only gives me what is on the face, and it removes anything extra. Now we have some hatching here, but I can right click, and I can say Change Cross Hatch, and at the very top I can say No Hatching. And that will be something that I can export. Likewise, I can delete this view. I can delete this view. If I don't wish to use that option for any reason, I can also say right click and activate a sketch in the view. And I can make a vertical line. We'll go with coincident here and coincident there and coincident there, right? So I basically resketched a line that goes right on my face and not beyond it. And that gives me the option to run a section view instead. And just a standard section view that the sketch only covers that face will only show that face. So it's one other option if for some reason you don't want to do it the other way. And again, we can change the crosshatch just like that. So uh, those are some options on being able to align and export uh, views and faces for DXFs. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.